Well, on this episode of Tin Chair TV, we're putting this bearing somewhere in the middle of that car. Sean, how do you feel about doing a gearbox today? No. So the reason we're uh, putting the bearing in today is because currently this has one of those um, bronze bushes, but because of the tolerances of the T56, it's best to actually have a bearing to actually sit it through because the tolerances for the uh, input shaft is only 10, um, 10 one thousandths of an inch. So we're going to put this in, it keeps it nice straight and true, it is a high quality roller bearing. Um, so you should handle the heat and the pressure. So to put that in, gearbox has got to come out, clutch has got to come out, and this has got to be pushed pushed in and seated nicely in the um, in the flywheel. So come along for the journey. I can't stand doing gearbox work on the ground. Uh, not this shit again. Yeah. Alright, I haven't been under this car in a while, so... What oh, we got, mate? Right, everything's looking alright. My exhaust wrap is falling down. Not too bad. Back to the gearbox looks good. And everything else looks fine. All right, so down the front, you have a, looks all right. No damage to the water lines. That seems to be all good there. Oh, I really need a hoist. Too tight for this shit. Everything's gotta come out now. Alright, she's out. Only took two minutes, Sean, according to the, the clock. I think the clock's wrong. <laughs> Alright, T56 is out. Um, so, what we're going to do now is... Uh, and get... Uh, Tin Shed TV needs a hoist. If anyone would like to donate... Uh, there's the clutch. So we're going to pull the clutch out now and the, um, and the case. Put that bearing in there, and then uh, yeah, maybe then we, all, then we all put it back in. Tidy up some wiring. Ready for smoke, okay, Sean? Uh, not really. Let's get a clutch out. Oh, watch out, people! He's hey. a dugger. I'm back. Alright. Well the housing's off. Woo! Now we just got a clutch. Have to get undone. I'll take that clutch plate off and pressure plate. And uh, have a look at the bearing that's already in there, the bronze bearing. All this just for a bearing. It's unbearable. Wow. Wow. Just laying down. 
on the job. I figure I deserve a break, seeing Ev doesn't do much. All he's been doing is throwing spanners and sockets and shit at me. Servicing the auto on the VY Calais was uh, much easier than all oh, the... Uh, everyone loves a manual until they break and then they're shit. So Sean? Oh, yeah. I want to give a want to give the people an update on the uh, on the Calais. Um, <laughs> it hasn't done much. It started. It does get started on a regular basis. It doesn't get driven. Um, Have you got to go down and get that uh, roadie finally? Yep. So I'm not sure when this video is going out, but it's getting a roadie on the 16th of November. Sick. So we're going to gas up that aircon, and then we're going to get a roadie, mm -hmm. and we're going to take it down the transport and get it on the road. Oops. Whoa. What do we got here? We got shit falling down, that's what we got. Yay. So you'll probably notice Couple of some squiggle lines here. That was from a roller bearing because we originally did have a roller bearing in here, but it cracked and it threw the ball bearings everywhere. And in the meantime, I had little ball bearings rolling around between my clutch, and it gouged out bit of the push pl the uh, plate, as well as flywheel. Sean, you throw that up. I'm showing them flywheel. Where are we? So you can see some little scoring on the wheel right there. Uh, rest of it, a little bit, but nothing. Nothing too major. Nothing major. I can't. I can't catch my uh, my fingernail on it, except for yeah, you know, this bit down here. It's a bit. It's a bit ordinary. Yep. So that's fine. We um, because at the time we just put a um, bronze bush back in, so we'll pull the bronze bush out, fix it up. The um, the bearing cracked due to an alignment issue because the dowel pins were actually missing on the back of the clutch. Uh, sorry, the back of the adapter plate. Therefore, it was out of alignment. But we've all got it all aligned now. So now, when I put the roller bearing back in, um, we won't have any issues again. Where will Sean? I hope not. All that, Sean? Yeah. Sick, let's pull it out. How are you feeling, Sean? <laughs> Smoko? Smoko. It's out. There we go. So, that's where the, cr the end of the um, input shaft finished. So you can see the change in color. There's uh, actually a, a lip caused as it spun around and over time that lip gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then the tolerances change and it starts to play inside the actual spigot so roll bearing doesn't gouge out and it allows it to spin more freely so we'll press the uh, bearing in the flywheel and shove it back in the car after Smoko. Yeah. The bearer of bad news. Oh, shut up. That was good Subway. It's a bit skinny on the salads. Mm. Not many people hear me say that. Mm. Alright. Let's put a bearing in. Nice and cool so it can shrink a little bit. Frosty. And now, put a little bit of Loctite around the edge.
And then we just press this in using one inch socket. Actually, 24 is a little bit smaller. And Sean, hold up for a sec. Okay. Hold up, hold the camera for a sec. Oh, what are you doing? And we're just gonna tap. It's yeah. gonna break it. And that's uh, how you press the bearing in. If anyone wants to swap the bearing out for the T56 swap and a V6, it's a 6002 bearing. I use a Natchi 6002. Alright, so when we install the pressure plate to the flywheel, we've got to do it in four steps. So we've got to go 10 newton meters, 25 newton meters, 40 newton meters, and then 50 newton meters. Don't ask me why we have to do it in four stages, but there we go. And when we do the flywheel bolts, we gotta go 22 newton meters and then tighten again an extra 53 degrees. I don't have that precise, but I'm gonna go half of 90 because that's 45. It's time to talk. Oi, what are you doing up there? Well, it's all back together. Off camera, can I get, cause my phone died. Yay! <laughs> if anyone's got a hoist, please comment and let Ev know. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna double check now by turning the car over and testing. So, what should happen is, if I put this in first gear with no handbrake and clutch in, the wheel should not move because there will be no actual connection between the engine and down the back. Nothing spinning. Spin. Stop. Alright, so the reason why I couldn't get a reverse is there's my reverse solenoid. Uh, Mr. Sean has wired it into ah. that solenoid, which does actually have a shifter in it. So we'll right, take it out of that. It's gonna go with that one up the top. Yep. Wrong one, mate. Uh, not my fault. <laughs> this car's supposed to have an auto in it. <laughs> Someone didn't leave all these extra cables and shit around. I'd know which one to plug it into. Oh my dear lord! All right. Can we get up there? Yeah. Well, the fucking cat's hot as fuck at the moment. Uh. And get it up into there. Who needs reverse anyway? It's overrated. You only need to go. You only need to go fast when you go forwards. All right. All right. Click, click, and click. Click, click, click. And like good, all good combo owners, we better check both wheels. Make sure he's not just single pegging. And neither ones are moving. All right, go, Ev. All right, let it out. And we have spin. And we have spin. Clutch in. And we're good. Everyone loves a tight LSD. Uh, yep. 
Yeah. No, little man, you can't touch them while they're spinning. Is it that way? Yeah, forwards. Okay. Huzzah! Yeah, now you can touch them, Ollie. They're not spinning. Rum, rum. All right. <laughs> so, great success. Great success. It goes forwards <laughs> and backwards. Even Ollie's happy about it. Mm. Yay, Ollie. Yeah. 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 The apprentice was happy. All right. Thanks for watching Team 2 TV. Catch you next episode. When you really need an extension to get to that back bolt. Jesus Christ. It's gonna do it. Hello, Oliver. <laughs> uh, wait, it's still got the red time code up. Yeah, that's to say it's recording. Okay. Okay, anyway. What's he doing? Sean, how do you feel about doing a gearbox today? No, 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 no,